Good evening and welcome back to Fox 23 News at 9. I'm Zach Simidar. Today, the Southern Miss football team announced their 2018 football schedule as the team gears up to make a run at their fourth straight bowl appearance. Golden Eagles will open up their 102nd football campaign at home for the third time over the last four years when they take on in-state rival Jackson State at the Rock. USM plays host to a six-game schedule at home with their other six, of course, coming on the road. Here's the complete schedule, which includes non-conference road games at Appalachian State and Auburn. The Golden Eagles will miss Conference USA champ Florida Atlantic, but will visit Denton to take on the West Division champ from last year, North Texas, in mid-October. With less than four weeks to go before the Southern Miss baseball team kicks off the 2018 season, the preseason accolades continue to roll in for Nick Sandlin and Matt Walner. The junior right-hander reliever Sandlin and outfielder pitcher Walner each were placed on the D1 Baseball All-American First Team list today. The Golden Eagles and defending national champion Florida Gators tied for the most recognized on the first team list with two each. Sandlin went 2-2 two two with a or 10 and 2 with a 238 earned run average as a sophomore last season while Walner hit 336 in his freshman campaign. He blasted 19 home runs, 63 runs driven in, both freshman records in Hattiesburg. Mississippi State junior duo of Jake Mangum and Connor Pilkington have also been recognized as preseason All-Americans by D1 Baseball, Pilkington and Magnum or Mangum, who've already combined for a total of five preseason All-American honors, will lead the top 25 ranked Bulldogs into their season opening series at Southern Miss February 16th, 17th, and 18th. The 12th overall rated prospect in the upcoming 2018 draft, Pilkington, is coming off of a sophomore season where he went 8-5 and five with a 308 earned run average, while Mangum, who was taken in the 2017 MLB draft, has notched 174 hits throughout his first two seasons in Starkville, trailing only Rafael Palmero for the most in program history. The Pels' Boogie Cousins had a historic game against the Bulls last night in New Orleans, putting up numbers not seen in over 45 years. Cousins earned a stat-stuffing triple-double, scoring 44 points, hauled in 24 boards, and dished out 10 assists. Numbers nobody has put up since Hall of Fame great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar did it in 1972. New Orleans needed every single statistic Boogie put up, and then some, to slip by Chicago 132-128 in double overtime. Anthony Davis had 34 for New Orleans, who moved up to 6th in the West with the win. And the dream of a repeat of last year's remarkable Federer Nadal finale in the men's Australian Open has come to an end after world number one Rafael Nadal was forced to withdraw with an injury during the fifth set of his quarterfinal match against six-seeded Marin Silic. 16-time major winner was making a bid to become the first men's player in the open era to win each of the Grand Slam events twice but with his unexpected departure it appears that the upset filled tournament has continued its trend. Start to feel the muscle a little bit tired in the third but playing normal no limits, no limitation. Uh, and then in the fourth, at one movement, one drop shot, I think I, I felt something that uh, at that moment I don't. I, I thought something happened, but I didn't realize how bad 